Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. I posted recently a video about the connection I'm getting with my new gigabit fiber internet here in Jerusalem in Israel. As I explained in yesterday's video, I discovered that I had a bad ethernet cable on my network, which was greatly limiting the download speed. So I thought I'd run the test again, now that my network is fixed and running at uh, the full speed. This is what I get with my new gigabit internet, which just arrived to Israel and is being rolled out currently uh, in cities around the country. So here is the uh, speed I'm getting with the official testing utility of my ISP, which is Ookla, but they're forcing it to go through its own endpoint. As you can see, the download speed is clocking in at about 920. I'm using CAT6 Ethernet cabling, which is uh, capped out at, I believe, 1000 Mbps or gigabit throughput. And the upload speed is about 100, so it's not really any different than the first time I tested it. So it's roughly a 1100 connection. As a pretty active YouTube user, a huge upload speed would be more useful to me than a big download, but it's still a pretty huge step forward over DSL. I ran it through this uh, ping and jitter tester as well, and as you can see, I'm getting about a three millisecond ping here on average. Um, one more testing utility just before I uh, show you guys the price. This is another latency testing tool looking at the latency between uh, your internet and various popular endpoints like Cloudflare, Amazon, etc. And you can see that the kind of uh, average latency here is 120 milliseconds to get to Cloudflare and uh, 87 to get to Amazon on average. They don't have uh, endpoints in uh, Tel Aviv, but it would, I'm sure the latency would be would be quicker. Now, in terms of how much this stuff costs, so here is the cost with today's exchange rates to USD on the screen, $72 to get it installed. And then it goes up from $26 a month, which is what I'm paying now. And then the payment schedule increases to 62 bucks. There's one catch in the fine print, as you can see, the connection they guarantee on the upload and download is 0 0.1 Mbps, which is kind of a joke. So uh, the ISP set their own terms and that's the result. The only thing I dislike about this connectivity so far is that Bezik kind of force you to use what they call this cyber protection thing. The page I'm on currently is actually the admin page for the router. And as you can see, it won't let me access the router admin. Instead, they kind of force you to install this smartphone app called Be Bezik, which in my opinion is a really bad way to administer a router. And it really, really hides the vast majority of the features, like even something as simple as configuring static IP leases for devices on the network, I can't do through this app. And there's no way I can get into the router interface except by using workarounds. So um, that's a big negative in my opinion, but for if you just don't have any interest in doing that, then this will not be a drawback for you. Hope that video was useful. If you want to get more videos from me, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.